Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? This is Dalton. I'm Dalton, and this is my channel, Dalton My World. And today, before before we even get started, I'm gonna ask you to give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna ask you to hit that red button down there to say subscribe. All right. And I'm going to ask you, and if you don't like my top content, you can give me a thumbs down. Either way, as long as you're respectful, you're cool with me. All right? And I ask you to share it. Now, this video is video number 200. That's right. I now, with this video, have 200 videos. Uh, either scheduled or already uploaded and which it was scheduled means that they're pre-scheduled to go out on Tuesday at noon you know uh one a, you know one a week unless something special happens then sometimes I might even throw out two videos on Tuesdays okay now a lot of you little nosy knows wanting to know some of the stuff just letting you know some of the other stuff that I do watch so I'm watching right now some other YouTube channels so I'm gonna show you Okay. Now you can take a screenshot of that. And these are some awesome YouTube channels to check out. Now, if you look at the first one, I, her name is Sunny. And I am not even going to try to pronounce her last name. But you all could write that down, screenshot this, and go and check her out. She is awesome. She has awesome advice for new YouTubers, but she just has some really good content in general. Okay. And I just kind of found her out, and she's really, really good, and her name is Sunny. And of course, when it comes to food, my homie there, I love watching his, uh, his videos his channel i can't subscribe to his channel because i gotta watch my weight because if i if i subscribe to this channel <laughs> i'll be tempted to eat all that stuff and i can't do that but his rer rdr food reviews all right and one of the one of the really really good um she's a hard working person she really works hard on her videos uh, and her name is Kelly Stamps. She's real, real good. I watch her now. When, and when, and um, of course, you know my girl Jamie Zebra Twenty Three. Some of y'all get into that. Some of y'all don't. Uh, but she doesn't just have stuff like psychic stuff. She has entertainment stuff. She talks about the stuff, you know, things going on, what's happening today, especially with stars and stuff like that. Okay. And when I need my fix, I go to emergency awesome okay when i need my dc or marvel fix you know or upcoming shows that's uh you know sci-fi shows and stuff i go to emergency awesome or my latest one i go to Bo boba talks all right the old fools are really, really good all these channels you can check them out if i miss one but you see it up here you still can check it out okay because they're all really good and you know i love my family guy Okay, and my American dad. So that's just part of my sense of humor. I love them. So um, y'all been nosy. Y'all wanted to know. Now y'all know. Now, today, this is going to be a story time. All right. Yeah, it's another story time. Y'all get used to it. If you don't like the story time, go ahead and click off. That's fine. Okay, well, this is this is really happening now. If you don't know my history, one of my careers that I retired from, I used to work security. Okay, and I worked security for over ten years. After ten years, I stopped counting. To be honest with you, because if you do something continuously for ten years, um, the career industry automatically considers you an expert. So you just keep doing what you're doing. You don't really have to count. You know. Um, but yeah, and as you also know, I have a degree, Bachelor of Science in Crime Analysis. Yes, I do. Um, I don't do that anymore. I don't use that anymore, but I was just letting y'all know if y'all want to know a little bit about my background. Okay, and why is that important? Okay, this is one of my, <laughs> this is one of my story times when I was working security. All right. If you, I lived in I lived in a lot of different states, but.
but I lived in Texas, and I lived in Texas for about ten and a half years. I was in Dallas for about five years, and I moved over to Garland for about five and a half. Okay, before I moved to Pittsburgh. All right, so <laughs> one day when I was working security, and also let me tell you ahead of time, I'm very sarcastic. So if I say I'm the smartest guy in the room, I'm being sarcastic. Okay, I'm actually sarcasm. Mean, sarcasm means I'm saying that I'm really saying the opposite of what I mean. You know, so I'm sitting up here. It was time to go. I had just got through with the shift, and I already saw the weather, right? Because we had these weird storms, right? This particular year, we had these weird storms. And if you know anything about Texas, you usually don't have a really heavy winter. But this particular winter, winter we, we were having some weird storms. I mean, we were having golf size hail, okay? Winds going at least 50 miles per hour and stuff like that. Rain. You know, freezing rain, you know, it was just crazy. And uh, so I'm thinking to myself, and I take the light rail. And if you don't know what light rail is, if you know what the Amtrak is, light rail is a small, smaller version of Amtrak that goes, takes you around the city. Okay. All right. So, you know, it doesn't take you state to state, it just takes you around different areas in the city. Very efficient. I love it. Anyway. I knew I had to take, you know, uh, catch the the light rail, right? So I'm like, okay. So I got off in time, and I knew there was a storm coming. Everybody was talking about it. So I was like, me being the smartest man in the room, I'm going to beat that storm. Yeah. So <laughs> I had everything together, and I'm running down to light rail. Got all my, got my stuff on, got my uniform on, you know, security jacket. Anybody works security, you know what I'm talking about. You got all your stuff on, you know, hat and everything. And I'm waiting on that light rail. And I know we had, that, that rail was coming in 15 minutes. So I had 15 minutes to wait. But I knew I was going to beat that storm, so I wouldn't, worry, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, it happened to be another person came up there to the rail, light rail and was waiting as well. And he was a tall, kind of slim brother. Uh, he works for he worked for another security company. Okay, not the one I was working for. And I mean, he was up here, you know, trying to look all tough, like you know, hey, you know what? If there was a wild, if there was a wild boar coming around here, I could take him with one one arm and take him down like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how tough I am. You know, he just had that. He was portraying that. So, you know, I'm like, hey, what's up, brother? And he's like, hey, what's happening? You know, like, yeah. So we kind of chat a little bit about our night. And, you know, sh security officers, <laughs> whether they work in the same company or not, they're kind of like police officers working in different states or whatever. They share stories, okay? Just leave it at that. We <laughs> share stories, okay? So we chat a little bit. All of a sudden, the wind picks up, right? And the wind's blowing like it picks up slowly, and I'm like, okay, and I, you know, and I'm looking at my watch, I'm like, okay, train's gonna be here in about eight minutes, all right, you know, come on, I'm trying, we can beat this weather. So then it really starts picking up, and you start getting a little bit of water drips of uh, um, sprinkles coming at you, but. I mean, it started to pick up like 50 miles per hour. Well, you got a lot of wind. It's like, dang, man. And then that water's hitting you, right? And I had a bald head. I want you to understand that, okay? So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm still cool. You know, I got this, you know? And <laughs> lo and behold, it started hailing. Yes. Bam, bam. And first I knew, I thought I thought somebody threw something because it just like, eek. You know, it was like hitting me, you know. And then I was like, Deep. I was like damn, what the, damn. You know, all of a sudden it started hailing like crazy, right? It starts hailing like crazy. And I'm still keeping my cool because if you know me, I'm pretty much a calm person anyway, unless something, unless I just get freaked out. I'm still keeping my cool, you know. But this time I'm trying to hold on a little bit to the seat thing here, you know. Waiting on that light rail, and it's—I mean, it just then it just goes 
crazy, man. It start, the wind picks up and this hell just really start coming, right? So, and I'm, I'm still holding on. I'm still being cool, you know. I'm like, I'm still counting down, you know. Looking up, trying to look at my watch while, you know, trying to rub it off, looking at my watch. All right, all right, all right. So then, okay. As I said, being the smartest man in the room, I said, I got something for this. So what I did, I opened my umbrella. <laughs> popped it up. Fighting that hell, right? So then, it's like the universe and the weather got together and said, you want to see something funny? Watch this. And it took my umbrella <laughs> and it reversed it <laughs> and then pushed it back. <laughs> if you've ever seen that, but then pushed it back, right? It's like, yeah, we ain't finished with you yet, brother. And then <laughs> it reversed again. I'm like, oh my God. It's a <laughs> and it did it about three times till it was like just rattle. <laughs> Hey, you know, the silver thing sticking all out. <laughs> so I'm holding this, holding this umbrella like this. <laughs> I was like, what the hell am I doing? So I throw the umbrella, you know. I throw it. Yeah, I littered. I throw it away from me, you know, because that was no, it was no good, you know. I'm just looking like a fool with this rattle thing. And then, like, so then, Mr. Tough Guy. He did something I wasn't expecting. And, you know, like I said, I'm freaking out, but I'm still keeping cool, right? He screams. He begins to scream real high, <laughs> which kind of shocked me. He has a really high voice. He was like, ah, ah, oh, my God, are we going to die? Okay, not I'm going to die. We're going to die. Okay, so he's bringing me into it, right? We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Ah. Right? And literally, literally. So then. <laughs> so now he done brought me into his bubble, right? So I'm screaming now. Ah, hold on. Ah, the wind's blowing. We getting tagged. I mean, we get tagged like you. I mean, it tagged my ball head like there was no tomorrow, boy. It getting tagged with all these different sides here. You know, you can just hear it. Doop, 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 doop. Just playing songs. You know, so I know. I know the weather and the universe was just having a great time. It's like eating popcorn. Why, you know, you making me the butt of their jokes, right? You know, because I mean, it was just tagging me, man. <laughs> and he's screaming, ah, ah, and I'm telling, hold on, hold on, and then oh, we gotta die, we gotta die, so sweep us away. Now oh, hold on, brother, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> when it's finally subsided, the train pulls up. I mean, it finally subsides in about a minute. <laughs> so, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you all right, man? <laughs> you know, we kind of dozing it off and, you know, reassessing reassess ourselves, you know. <laughs> Like, hey man, he's like, so now he's macho man. He's macho man again. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, you know. So then the, the light rail finally pulls up. We get in there, and he's acting like nothing happened, you know. He goes all the way to the back of the thing, you know. And I'm sitting up here like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that all about? <laughs> you know? So don't think that the universe or the weather or whatever you believe in or don't believe in, don't think it doesn't have a sense of humor and doesn't make a fool out of you. Because it does. It, it, you, you are the butt of the joke sometimes, so you just got to roll with it. <laughs> but that literally did happen. <laughs> And I'm just screaming it. I mean, we were the epitome of top 
flight security. Now, if you have never seen Fridays, you need to see it. And then you'll understand what I mean. When we, at that moment, when we scream out, embarrassing every single black brother in America. <laughs> we, were the, we were the epitome of top flight security, okay? <laughs> I had some Latin friends that probably wouldn't even want to be around me at that time. Like, oh, I don't know about right now. <laughs> I'll wait till you calm down, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I had some white friends that probably be like, man, I, I was just, you know, my white friends, <laughs> I would just took a cab. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Make you look at him. Man, if I could took care of, I would have took care of. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, top flight security here at the surface. <laughs> now we know what happened to him. When well, they never told, you know, they never found out what happened to him. Yeah, they got swept away in one of them storms. <laughs> Or taken out by a bad guy and they ain't, ain't want to tell you about it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, that's my story time. And I hope that you all enjoyed it. All right. I ask you to hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy it, give me a thumbs down. If you don't like my content, but just be respectful. And I'll respect you. All right. <laughs> Ask you to share this, all right? And also, um, ask you to be safe out there. <laughs> Dalton from Top Flight Security? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I'm not trying to get this pulled. But anyway, I'll wrap to y'all later. Peace out.